Hello, I'm Light Serenity, and in this video, I will be explaining the Infinity Stone slash Wing event. So on your basic level, there's 10 different stones in the game, number one through 10. Now, if you collect sets of these, you are able to get these wings. The first wings are evil wings, and that is PvP only. It creates a black mist in the opponent's vision. The second set of wings are golden wings, uh, which activates the golden ship. What it does, it allows your ship to get hit once without dying. Now, under the wings, you can see these little three stars and you can enhance the wings. Each time you enhance the wings, uh, you get a 20% increase of a drop rate and two seconds extra of super time. Now, you can see my evil wings, I have full enhancement. Now my golden wings, I do not have full enhancement and that is actually a really good thing to have. If you are going for the golden wings, I would definitely recommend you get the enhancement on them. But each enhance for the golden and for the evil wings costs 200 crystals for each one. Now to get the evil wings, you collect stones one through five, those sets, and you'll be able to get the evil wings. Um, the golden wings, you would also collect stones six through ten. And each time you do collect a set, you get a random matrix item piece. And the drop rate is supposed to be double in PvP, the drop rate for stones. So let's go over some of the places you can get stones. Now, your basic place to get stones is your chests. Um, but <laughs> there's a caveat on each chest there's a level and you get only certain amounts or certain drops per level so let me show you what i'm talking about the blue chest i have level eight so if i click on the little question mark if i click on the little question mark all right i can only get number one through number four stones in being level eight now the epic chest the orange chest i'm level seven that sounds great doesn't it but when you click on it, when you click on it, I don't know what's working and what's not. Okay, um, I can only get uh, stones from one to stones to six. So that doesn't really help me out. Now, if I get to level 10, I can finally get all of the stones dropped. But if you see, I'm only on level seven and it would take 600 chests to get to level eight. And the purple chests, the mystical chests are the same thing, uh, but you have an opportunity to get one through 10 stones. But if you look at the percentage rate, they're very, very low. Now, as you level up your chest, the percentage rate goes higher and higher. So at this point, in your, if you are low levels in your chest, uh, then obtaining those stones that you need is gonna be a lot more difficult. All right, let's go over some other places to get stones. Uh, the spin wheel, you have one little stone there. <laughs> there is matrix, which resets every hour. And this is a great place to get stones if you need them. And you just check back every hour and see what they have available. All right, there is PVP where you can get stones. In survival, there's a random drop. You can get stones. Uh, the master league, when it comes around, if you win two in the Master League, you are supposed to be able to get a stone as well. Now, the last few months I've tried it and it is not working, so I don't know about that. Uh, PVP, you can get a random stone drop. There is a squad right here called Rich Man Squad. It uh, doubles the Evolve Stone drop rate in the battle. Now, your PVP Season Rewards go over here. You can get stones through that as well. And let's go back to the main screen. And if you go through campaign, you can get a random stone dropped. And also each level, if you look at it down at the bottom, it says 30% chance of drop. And then as I go to crazy, it's 60% chance of drop. Uh, but that's not a guaranteed thing. Now, Endless, there is a chance of a random drop uh, to get stones. There are no stones given up for boss mode. 
And the last mode is hero mode, but we will be talking about that in a little bit. Uh, there are different events that you can get stones from. Lucky draw, never give up, uh, the king of war battle pass, I'll show you what that is. Uh, we're in season 18 or at the end of season 18, and if you scroll through here, there's not very many, but there are stones in there. Your weekly galaxy mission quest. Once again, not very many in there, but there they are. Your daily rewards ad page. This is a great place uh, over time to get stones and to get chests. And also in the event, there is a little purple box down at the bottom. If you click on that, there are seven different times or uh, you can watch ads to potentially get a stone. And while we're on this page, I wanna show you something. Down at the bottom, there's three purple chests and six stones, and it costs 150 crystals. Now, this is a good way to get them if you're in a pinch and you need that extra boost. Now, the six stones that you'll get won't be random different numbers. It will be all the same number. So this is a way to actually get stones if you're in a crunch and you definitely need that push over the edge. Now, let's talk about fusion. Now, fusion is uh, the number one through 10 stones. You can take three stones and turn them into a higher stone, but just one. So let's take number five, for example. If you see down at the bottom, I have 550 number five stones. So I can take three of these and turn that into either a number six, a number seven, or a number eight stone. Now, if I put these lucky materials in, my chance goes up of getting that number eight stone. And if I am um, using the number five stone for the involved evolve stone fusion, uh, I can do it over and over again and get number six, number seven, and number eight stones um, as I go throughout crushing up the 550. I do not recommend ever doing the evolve stone fusion if you do not have to get it done because you're literally taking three stones and turning it into one stone. So that's not uh, that great. Just like the hex tech chess, uh, it's the same thing now where you take two pieces and turn it into one. So let's talk about the best place to get stones. It is the most reliable and consistent way to get stones. And that is hero mode. Now, once every 24 hour period, you can come in hero mode and you can uh, get different stones for each planet. The uh, bottom planet Terra, you can get a number one or a number two stone. So let's click on that and look at it. You have a 50% chance of getting either one. So you play it until you get that stone drop and then it's gonna turn into this where you don't have that stone available anymore. So you can go through each of these planets and get uh, each of these stones, but one each per day. And that is very consistent and very reliable. It does not take very long to get through this. Uh, so on a personal note, I don't farm uh, stones one and two, but I actually do stones three and four, because if I was to crush up a bunch of four stones, I could get number five, number six, and number seven. So I always do the uh, hydron with the number three and number four stones. So I hope this video has been very helpful to you. Thank you for joining along in another one of my explained series. And I will be doing a video on hero mode and farming stones in a little bit more detail. So thank you so much.